Welcome back. I'm Meredith Gorman. Are you ready to play the back nine at the Samoset? It has a different feel than the front, with many of the holes tree-lined, but there are still some fantastic holes to be had as your round comes to an exciting crescendo. The 10th begs you to forego distance for accuracy on the tee. This par 4 has a generous landing area, just don't go in the bunker on the left side. Your approach is over water. Play the hole smart, and you'll do well. The 11th is a short par 3 that requires a tee shot over water to a well-protected green. Grab your par or birdie and push on for a dramatic finish. The 12th hole is a challenging hole, but it is made easier by thinking your way through it. This par 5 can be played to well over 500 yards. Your tee shot can enter the fairway bunker, so be wary of club selection and the wind. Multiple bunkers await you along your march for par. The 13th is a beautiful par 3 to look at, but it can be difficult to play. It can play up to 230 yards, and the hole requires a carryover water. Bunkers virtually surround the green. The 14th is the longest hole on the course and slightly bends to the left. The backdrop to the green is one of the prettiest in golf, Penobscot Bay. The 15th is somewhat of a narrow par 4 that has the surf crashing down the left side. The green is large and protected by a lone bunker. The flume cottage sits on your left. 16 is a slightly uphill par 4 of just under 400 yards. Various bunkers await errant shots towards the green. The 17th is a demanding par 4 that does place slightly downhill. Two boulders sit on the right side of the fairway, while grassy mounds are a terrible place to be. The approach is downhill to one of the smaller greens on the course. The 18th is a short par 5, but it has a lot of bite to it. A good drive off of the tee may have you thinking eagle, but there is a precise carryover water to a well-protected green.